there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to accompany yourself playing The Long and Winding Road by The Beatles. So it's more or less an accurate version. The chords I believe to be accurate, there's a lot going on in the track, there's choirs, there's strings, there's all sorts. So without making it sound too difficult as the piano accompaniment arrangement, uh, we're mainly, mainly just going to be doing the chords with a couple of extra little bits in there as well. So I'll sing each section. There's only really like two main sections to learn that just repeats. I have left the full chords and lyrics linked everywhere down below, so go and check those out if you find them useful. This one is in the key of E flat major, so on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of E flat major. So the chords are mostly formed using those notes. Here is middle C for reference. I will be playing the odd octave note in my left hand. I just want to zoom in as much as possible so it's clear what I'm playing. Um, but I'll just be playing octaves whenever you can't see a lower note. I'm playing, for example, a B flat and a lower B flat. But obviously not everyone has the lower octaves as well. So it comes in with the long and winding road. The piano is playing in line with the vocals. So you're going to play a D and then a C with that and then D, B flat, G and then you can just play a C if you want or you can turn that into an A flat major second inversion chord which is E flat, A flat and C and then you're going to move that chord up an entire octave and the left hand you're going to play B flats and we've got that that leads so I'll do that again the long and winding road that leads so here we have an E flat major chord now so E flats or a single E flat in the bass you don't have to play octaves then E flat G B flat you play that twice and then you're going to change the B flat to a C and then to a D flat so to your door and then back to the C so I'll do that from the E flat again you can add, uh, repeat the odd note with your thumb if you want to, if you are playing octaves, just to fill the gaps in between. So I'm not going to explain every single time I do that. I'm just going to do it sort of as I feel like it and you should experiment with that as well. So like this, for example. Again, I'm just playing in between the chords to make it sound more full and more rhythmical. to A flats and then we've got these little in-betweeny in melodic parts so they're based around um, they're all based around a C minor 7 chord which is C E flat G and B flat every now and then there's a D in there as well so we could do something like them lines. It's different every time, the, these in between the melodic parts. So I'll do what we've done from the beginning and join that together. The long and winding road that leads to your door. Change. And then we've got a flat major, so you can left hand just stay there, and then we've got E flat, A flat, C. So second inversion, play that twice. We'll never... So there we have G minor seven. So G's in the left hand, and then F, G, B flat, D in the right hand. So I'll do that again. So there we've got C minor, 
You can place these octaves down there if you want or come up here, I'm just trying to keep it in shot. And the right hand, we've got second and, uh, first inversion, so E flat, G, C. And we've got another one of these filler melodic moments. Again, just based around these notes, no, mostly. So noodle something around those notes. And you can make it your own. And then we've got, so the next chord is F minor seven. So F's in the left hand and then E flat. F, if you want to add that in there, you don't have to add that extra F in there. A flat and C, you could just play that if you want. Or you could add the F in there as well if you wanted to. And you're gonna rock those. So top notes, bottom note, top notes, bottom note. I've seen that. And then you're gonna change the E flat to a D. Let's still play the other notes and change the left hand to B flat. And that gives us B flat seven chord at nine. I've seen that And then we've got this like build up. So we've got D flat major root position in the right hand, D flat F, A flat. And the left hand, you're gonna play E flats with that. So it's D flat over E flat. And then you're gonna immediately play a G, play the chord, B flat, chord, C. Change that to E flat major, so you're just moving that shape up one, and then E flat. So do that again. And then on to the next chord, we've got the A flat major chord again into G minor seven, so that's nothing new. minus seven add nine. So you're just changing the F to an E flat in the right hand from the G minor seven chord. And then of course, changing the left hand to C. So do that again. It always leads me here. Do another filler moment. Again, just based around those notes that are on the screen. Back into the F seven chord. B flat seven add nine to your door. Then just an E flat major chord for this whole bar. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And that's the verse. That's how you play the verse. I will do all of that again. The long and winding. again as if you were just playing it from the beginning again the wild and windy night and that the rain washed away you has left Oh
into what I'm gonna call the bridge. Many times I've been alone. And there's not really many new chords. So we've got E flat with B flat in the bass. So many times I've... And then A flat major, which we've done before. Been alone. Back to E flat major, but with G's in the bass this time. Many times I've cried. F minor, which is just F, A flat and C, with F's in the bass. And then change, add the D in there. And then the B flat, 7 of 9. Then you almost repeat all that again. So E flat over B flat. We've got, uh, I guess you call it G7 sus4. So G's in the left hand, and then D, F, C in the right hand. So I'm going to do all that bridge again. Many times I've been alone, and many times I've cried. Anyway, you've always known the many straight into the third verse which of course we're just going to play the same way as the others but still they lead me back to the long winding road you left me instrumental section. So we'll teach your hands separately. The notes are of course on the screen. So the right hand is going to play B flat, D, E flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, and then C, D, Do all that again. Then you repeat that again in this octave, exact same notes. So the left hand with that, because the left hand's now going to have to play chords. The first chord is an E flat over a B flat. It's the same chords for the bridge, basically, that we're going to try and play in the left hand. Very similar chords. So we've got B flat, E flat and G. So just second inversion of E flat major. And then we've got A flat major. A flat, C, E flat. We then have uh, first inversion of E flat major. So G, B flat, E flat, and then F minor, it sounds a bit muddy down there, so you can play it down there, or you can play it up here, or you can play in that in fifths, so just F and C, it makes it sound just a little less muddy sounding. And then we've got the B major chord, which is B flat, 
D and F. So I'll just do all that again. E flat second inversion, A flat major, E flat first inversion. You could play like this instead, you miss out the C, again, whichever way you want to play F minor. So that's for the bit that's played down here. So I've just put that bit together slowly, just holding the chords down to begin with, so like this. Together. Together. could play each chord twice, so like this. And then when it moves up here, those chords are almost exactly the same. G minor seven. So that's you can either play G D F or G B flat and F. You can add the D in there if you want to play four notes. And then it's back into the verse again. <laughs> so I'm just going to play all of that a little bit quicker this time. to the uh, the final verse so I was going to continue but still they lead me back to the long winding road you left me the first part on the word door and at the end so it ends on the E flat so after you've played the you could embellish so that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful if you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request you need to click on this video which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.